Four years ago, in the very first edition of The Dogs, we introduced you to our puppy, Frankie. Frankie was bred by Dilly Stills here, and we watched him grow from a sapling in the snow to a racer in the making. We brought you his first hand slip and trials and watched his career unfold at Peterborough. Later, Chase the Dream, as he was known, switched to the kennels of Mark Wallace and began racing at Walthamstow, where he won on the flat and over hurdles. Now he's been retired and homed in Essex. He's with the Stedman family and is very much part of the community already, even helping walk the kids to school. And for Mum Louise, Dad Michael and sons Joseph and Oliver, Linford, as he's now named, has been a welcome addition and very settled. Well, it's great, really. I mean, see the difference in the, the first few days. It was just literally going out there, and I can only describe it, it seemed to have a, a smile on his face constantly. Um, but it's been great. The children love him, and it's... Uh, He's a pleasure to have around, really, isn't he? Absolutely great company. He just wants to be by you all day, and he's happy to just lay beside you in the evening. He comes into the lounge and just lays on the rug, doesn't he? He follows you around the house, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But not upstairs. <laughs> he's never tried yet to go upstairs. As soon as, as soon as we got him, we left him and put a dog thingy there so he can't go anywhere Gates. else. So we got used... A dog gate, yes. So we got used to it, and then we let it out, and now he's just wandering all around the house and he likes the lounge quite a bit yeah, and I think he's settling in quite well. But when we first had him I think Oliver spent two days out there, he didn't move out of there. He was sitting on his bed with him wasn't he? So you see hears him up, his tail wags and comes up and puts his head on yeah. their lap doesn't he? And yeah. Just absolutely fantastic. And he's a bit of a hit at school as well isn't he? Yep, they're all yes, very famous at school isn't Everyone he? knows him and I knew before he even came home Everyone you know, knew, about knew it. he was going to be arriving, yeah. and he's no trouble. You know, a quick 20 minute walk, and then he's happy to come back and lay on his bed for an hour, a couple of hours, or 10 minutes um, ball in the garden, and that's it. He's happy then, and he settles down. And he's just really, really slotted into our family life, really, like he's always been yeah. here, hasn't he? He uh, really has. Linford has also got to know the other pets in the house, and there are quite a few. Yes, yep. we have rabbit, guinea <coughs> pigs. Dick insects, which I think are dead. And, and uh, cat. Oh, how does Linda like the cat? Oh. Well, first of all, he was fine with him, but Until the cat the kept cat hissing. hissing. No, the cat kept hissing. And then, <clears throat> and then as the cat kept on hissing, it brought the dog on, and then the dog's interested in the cat as well now. So the cat's teased him, and now I don't think they're going to go on like that. But... Hopefully they get on. Marlon the cat and Linford are getting on famously now, but what made the family pick out a retired greyhound in the first place? We had a, an old dog and he passed away in uh, in October and uh, we said we're not having another dog. Uh, the next thing we knew the boys were on the internet looking at dogs uh, and I think we both felt really that you know we didn't want to, to buy a dog, we'd rather rescue a dog um, and in our local paper we knew of, of Clark's farm because they have uh, pictures of give me a home with a picture of a dog and so we called them up just inquiring what they were like as pets um, on the Thursday I think we went there on the Saturday afternoon and um, Linford walked in basically saw Oliver and leant against him wagging his tail and that was it really there was, there was no looking back You couldn't go there and not come away without a dog you really yeah. couldn't because and, uh, yeah. they, A, there's so many, and B, they're just beautiful. But there's one thing just... they said. They said, uh, should, should we, can we go in the kennels and see? He said, no. So why is that? He said, because you'll want all of them. He said, you'll start looking at all different ones and so forth, and they'd, they'd bring them out to you, wouldn't they? And you do, but luckily there was only a couple that had been cats tested, yeah, wasn't there? Absolutely. Yeah. Linford and one other one, I think, and obviously we met Linford first, and Oliver fell in love with him, didn't he? Absolutely. That was it. Clark's Farm is about 15 minutes down the road from the Stedmans. It's a greyhound rescue centre which homes some 300 dogs every year. A full team of staff care for the 60 or 70 greyhounds at the kennels at any one time. And boss Sandra Cobb has been a long time fan of the breed. We used to have racing greyhounds, love the dogs and obviously very interested in what happens to them afterwards and it just started from there. We bought Clark's Farm in 1999. We had 
well, just it was just a, a run-down old farm, um, and we've built up from there. We became an RGT branch in, I think it was about 2002, and it's just it's just bloomed from there. It's gone better and better every year. And is it important to be affiliated to the RGT? Very important. We get a lot of funding, a lot of help from the RGT. We also home Crayford Greyhounds. We are their homing centre. We home a, a large number of the Crayford dogs each year. Now tell us about your plans for Clark's Farm. You haven't stopped just yet, have you? We haven't stopped just yet. Every year we're getting bigger and bigger and, be and better. We've had a new block built at the bottom. We have um, a veterinary centre going in front here so that most of our time is spent back and forward to the vets spaying castrating every dog's sent out spayed castrated teeth inoculated so that will be done on site and that will cut down time giving us more time for spend with the dogs let me be a bit self-indulgent here talk about my own greyhound that right. uh, came here chased the dream <laughs> he, he didn't stay here long did he no he didn't no he didn't i mean he was um as you've probably seen he's, he's fine with the cat you know, it's my cat that we test on, and he was ju he was just just a dream. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he went out straight away. Beautiful dog. Do you find you have some problem dogs that are very hard to home? We've just had one that she's taken us a year to home, only because she was a little bit she was a little bit um, highly strung sort of thing. But we we've worked on her, me and Claire and and some of the other girls and she's gone home and she's she's lovely she's settled in wonderful and that must give you a great deal of satisfaction oh do you know what? yeah it's it's tearful when they go but you're just so it's just so lovely to see them go to that home now tell us about the procedure if somebody did want to adopt a greyhound from clark's farm what, what would happen to them they would just come and look around at all your dogs in the kennels right when they phone we can either arrange a home check first then they can come down and have a look most people like to come down walk some get the feel of them we have a chat with them we've got lots of literature here we've got a video here that they can sit in reception and watch um, they walk them but we basically roughly know I mean we, we've got the book what the dogs are like they tell us their family situation you know children etc uh, and we match the dog to the person and it usually works and it's worked for Frankie, or should we say Linford? From those early days, he's been well looked after, and now the Stedmans love nothing more than watching those old DVDs of his races. He's their champion now. It, it was great to see because, you know, we know him as he is, and you think, and some of it's not that long ago. Uh, and to see him doing that, I mean, the children were, were amazed, and uh, I think that went well, straight to school, didn't it? Oh, extremely it was, uh, proud, yes, aren't they? Extremely absolutely. proud. So they think they've got a champion. <laughs> they have. Yeah.